teams here in the Colonial Council, Catholic Central, Crusaders versus the Lansenburg Knights. The Crusaders are in the purple jerseys and the Knights are in the white jerseys. The white jersey will go to our left and the purple jerseys will go to our right. The Crusaders are maintaining a, a, a what coach, an undefeated record here this season so far, just running by everybody with no problem. And Lansenburg is right there, Coach. Now, they lost like three games. They're right there, losing to some quality teams. The jump ball is won by Lansingbird here. And they look right away to Marcus Green gets the bucket right away. Yeah, and from the outset, I think they're missing Aiden Green. And so that's going to be something to think about here. Whoa. Samir Robeson drives to the basket, gets some contact. He will go to the line. And that foul is on number two, Marcus Green, his first, team's first. Robes is a 75% free throw shooter. He's 26 in this section. First one rattles in. Second one is up. Hits the posterior. Gets his own rebound after the miss. And backs it back out. Coach, one thing you can say about Samir Robinson, Coach, he's a heady guard. He really is. Riley kicks it back out. They're Has glued. impeccable passing ability as well. No question. They're glued to Coach. They're glued to Darian Moore over there, Coach. They're glued to him. Short-range jump shot there by number five. Uh, Smith unable to go down. He's a freshman as well, Coach. Uh, number five, Smith there for the Crusaders. Wow, another freshman. Here we go with the youth movement again. A lot of young underclassmen playing this year, yeah, doing their uh, thing. Yes, Oliver with the kick out, opposite looking. Long three there. Hits the front end, no good. Rebound by Smith, but he stepped out. Too overzealous on that rebound attempt there. And uh, Crusaders will take it out. No, no, Lansenburg Knights will take it out. Yeah, the Knights. Approaches 6.55 on the clock. Shot goes up. And it oh, trickles in there for him, Coach. That basket by Wesley McIntyre. McIntyre is averaging four. Uh, he averaging quite a few points. He averaging 19.8. Yo, so they come out with a boxing one right now on Dar Darian Moore. Yeah, they were glued to him, that first possession. <laughs> yeah, and they've been glued to him thus far, so it's going to be a boxing one. Let's see. I'm always interested to see how coaches devise plans. Probably was kind of anticipating this, so let's see what kind of plan, because sometimes you're forced to get to the guys too much. It takes you out of your offensive rhythm. So let's see how they play this here. The Knights are up 4-1 to one over the Crusaders right now. Approaches 6.20 on the clock. Samir Robeson 
shoots a deep three, comes off hard, other way. That's rebound, Isaiah Ellison with that rebound. Oliver, the big fella, throws it up, no good. Hart battles, and Moore will step out of bounds. The ball will stay here with the Knights. So because of Hart battling down there, it gives them guys to an extra possession here. And we, we look, I like the Oliver guy. Let's see what he brings tonight inside. He can also knock down an outside shot. As long as he keeps his head, don't focus on the referees and just play basketball. I was told when they played against us at Falls, coach, he did a great job on Peyton Smith. I believe they hold him to his lowest points all season. Said somewhere around 12 points he held him to. Wow, yeah, that is his lowest point. A guy is averaging almost 30 points a clip. <laughs> you better believe it. Samir Robinson tracks that down, gives them more who starts to break. First time he touched it. Oh, good look right away, coach. Oh, you see, you see more there, coach. He can score the ball and he can assist it. Yeah, that was a good thing right there when you doing a boxing one, look good for a guy to get a steal. When he got a steal here. Yeah, he's on the way. Bounce off his foot, but he tracks it down. He gets bumped in the air. Oh, the referee looked down like chill. <laughs> Word. <laughs> That's McIntyre's first foul. That foul was actually on um, oh, against somebody else. Isaiah Allison, his first foul. Okay. Riley has the ball. He gives it back just to Roberson. He's athletic, unable to go down. Smith rebounds it, and he gets knocked away. The Crusaders will take it out here. Coach number five is Smith. Smith is number five. Or oh, they had him in a, I think they had him in a program, something else. Well, let me check. Okay. Off the backboard, too strong there. Not the pr a proper angle. Oliver with the rebound, put back strong. <laughs> Six to three here, coach. The Knights are up. Last time these two play teams played, I believe uh, Moore had 37. Oh, he's downhill, too. He goes up, gets the contact, count the bucket, and he yells out, and one, coach. He knows that glass very well. Yep. And that, that was high off the glass, goes with a soft touch to drop in for him. Yeah, he drove downhill real hard, coming, getting the ball in his hands. I guess the plan is when you get it, just go. And he got in the inside, got in the interior, nice pull up off the glass, and he goes to the line to try to complete the three-point play here. And that foul is on Logan Hart. Six to five. Knights still hold on to that one lead, one point lead. Knocks a free throw. And Darian Moore, coach, a 71.9% free throw shoot. He's 39th in section two and knocking down those from the charity strike. Well, good to cash in when you can get to the line. A little trouble there. Yeah, Oliver gets it from Marcus Green. Working around the horn, the heart to McIntyre. McIntyre, we saw him early in the season against Kyle Nee, coach. McIntyre likes to let that thing go. Yes, he does, coach. He <laughs> fills it up quick. Nice play there, coach. He gets blocked there. Darian Moore looks like. He got him high on the hand, gave him a high five. Yeah, that foul is actually oh, on number three. three. Okay. I'm giving fouls to the wrong guys all night, coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Connor Germel. You, you starting early with this stuff. You starting early <laughs> with this stuff. <laughs> six to six. We got 334 on the clock, first period. We got Guy DeBacco, coach. He's guiding this ship. He did a good job last year with these guys. Knocks down the first one Oliver does. He did a good job last year with these guys uh, for the Crusaders. He got them to the, the, the last game in Section 2, coach, that championship game. They came, a little, they came up a little short, but he got them there. They're looking like they're thirsty for something this year, coach. Yeah, oh. Offensive rebound here with a putback. Yeah, they're definitely thirsty, Coach. When you get there that close with a younger team and all your guys are coming back, you can smell it for this year. That's the reason why they're undefeated. So they're looking for a section title. They're not worried about an undefeated season right now. Samir pulls up right side. No good. Smith bounce for that rebound. McIntyre sniffs that out. Gives it up to Green. Green goes up with the contact and finishes it. For his fourth point of the quarter, nine to six. The Knights are ready to ball, coach. He went out eight in green. Yes, they are. And Samir Robertson has to be careful here. He's forcing a lot of action. He knows they're playing a boxing one against Payday, so he's forcing the action a little bit here. Connor Grunwell, no good from three for the Crusaders right now. So he just has to be mindful. That. Let the game come to you. It'll come in due time. And I like green. I talked to you when he's at Troy High. I like Marcus Green and what he brings to the table. No question. 
McIntyre unable to find it. Hit the posterior. Rebound from Saders. And Darian Moore is on the go, coach. Finds Riley, the deadly three-point shooter. Comes off hard. And Moore goes up. Comes up short there. Riley tracks that down. Said he stepped out. That's three step out so far, coach, by the Crusaders. Yeah. They're going back and forth with the turnovers here. I like the pace of this game. I like the intensity of the game. And you could tell that the Knights came out with a game plan. They're trying to execute it. And one of it is just putting Watson one and account for Darian Moore wherever he at uh -huh. on the court. You don't want him to have no payday today. It's <laughs> no Tuesday, payday. not Friday. <laughs> Friday's usually payday. Today's Tuesday. Yeah. But, Coach, those turnovers they had, Coach, weren't really – Crazy turnovers, right? It was like they got a rebound, stepped out of bounds while he was in the air. You know, stuff like that. Definitely in the mix. Nice pass there by Mike Attire. Little Hart pop. unable to help, uh, handle it. Goes out of bounds. Yeah, that was a nice little pocket pass right there. Wasn't able to secure it and got out of bounds. Got a turnover going the other way with it. 9 to 6, 3 12 on the clock, first period. And Guy DeBacco is giving instructions to his freshman point guard, Samir Robeson. Coach, you don't talk about, you know, can't forget about Eric Loudis. Oh, good defense there. Connor Grimwell didn't throw a good pass there, Coach. No, he didn't. Green spots it, comes up short. Rebound Samir after getting knocked around by Darian Moore. On the, on the run here. Good pass to, Grun, to Grimwell. Grimwell, I'm sorry, for his first two points of the game. And that's what I like to see with Roberson here. Let the game come to you, get your other guys involved. You're a great passer, don't have to force the action. Yeah, Green putting the pressure now, putting the pressure on that, on that interior of the defense of the Crusaders there, Coach. Yeah, and that fouls on Darian Moore, his first. So that's team's second, and they're inbound to play here underneath. Coach, you cannot forget about Eric Loudis now. He's a quality guy. He's, in the, he's from the old Big Ten now, you know, suburban council and all that good stuff, Coach. He knows what he's doing over there. He definitely does, and that's why you can see them devising a plan and don't and executing it to the fullest right now. And we'll see as we move along how these guys strategize, both veteran coaches here. He got hit outside. That's Riley. I'm, a, oh, no, I'm not going to say any more names to the referee calls it, okay? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, if they put it up on the scoreboard, that would help. I yeah. think they have been doing a viable job of that right there, but that foul was on Nick Riley, his first, and that's the team's third. All right. Great accommodations here, Coach, today. You know, the Lansing Bird AD, Coach, he stepped up big time, you know, helping us with, gave us, designated a spot for us, Coach, gave us the Wi-Fi, Coach. He did a great job just hooking us up. Yeah, he sure did. He came over when we was experiencing a little technical difficulty, probably something that you did on your own or what have you, but he was over, come over and bail us out and what have you. <laughs> I'm sure it's something you did. I'm almost, almost positive that. <laughs> McIntyre spots it. Oh, no good. Murrow, what is more with his like third rebound coach finds Samir Roberson guys in the middle and lays it up sweet like coach yeah nice right there looking smooth right there a nice assist right there by payday Darian Moore getting it into him so that's his third point of the quarter here for a Roberson oh good job Oliver takes the contact unable to finish he will go to the line shooting two here the score is 10 and the nine and the Crusaders take that lead coach for the first time Yep, and that foul's on Connor Jamil, so he'll get a chance to go to the line. It looks like Smith is going to check in for him because his second foul. I see something different in Oliver, Coach, from when we seen him earlier yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's more patient. <laughs> more pa and, aggr and aggressive at the same yes, time, though. Yes, yes, He's not being wacky out there. You yeah, know I'm going to give you Oxymoron, okay? Here, you ready yes, for it? Patiently aggressive. I like that. Yeah, that's what he is right yeah, now. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Knock that first one in. And they're getting him involved early on in the offense, and I like the way he's attacking the basket. So if he can continue to do that, this is going to be an interesting game because he could definitely be a force down low to reckon with. And that's Oliver, why... Oliver's a 66.7% free throw shooter, but go ahead, Coach. I'm sorry. And that's why Smith comes in because Smith has a big body, someone who probably could contend with him down there a little bit. Misses that second one. 50-50 factor, both trips from Oliver. 10-10. 10 10-10 10, 10, 10 wins. 145 on the clock, first period. Long three by Roberson. Hits the posterior. He got the right alignment, but he's he, he's not connected, Coach. I still think he's forcing a little bit, Coach. I think he's just, like, trying to grab the game instead of letting the game come to him a little bit. Ellison has the ball. And Looks to Oliver in the post. Good kick there to Hart. One extra pass. Oh, Isaiah turns down and drives. Finishes on the other side, Coach. Strong yeah. move there by Allison. 
Yeah, nice hesitation move right there. Got into the interior, was able to finish it and give them a two-point lead right here early on, um, late in the first quarter. Work the ball around. Oh, Samir Robinson gets it up and in, Coach. He eats what he wants. And right now, it's a little bit of, of feast or family with him, but right now it was feast time right there on that possession. Good help defense by Smith, but he let go too early. Green, Razzle and Dazzle, and draws the foul, Coach. Green is not uh, enamored by uh, uh, Samir Robinson's ability, Coach, or any of his accolades that he got so far with the undefeated season. He doesn't care, Coach. He's going right at this guy. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Coach. He's very <laughs> aggressive. He's going right at these guys. I, I tell you the truth, if he does a little bit of a change of pace with his dribble, it'd be even more effective with him because he's so much at one speed right now. But that speed is fast, hurry, and furious right now. That foul is on Samir Robinson. Ball stolen, and it gets it more on the break. Three against one. He finds a teammate off the glass hard. That ball gets turned back over to the Crusaders. And that's their fifth turnover of the quarter to Catholic Central's three turnovers of the quarter. So both of, these, both of these teams are early on going after it, getting after it real hard here. Darian Moore has it, coach, running the show. They call him Payday. Darian Payday Moore. So if I call him Payday, that's what I'm talking about, people. Oh, nice move there by Smith. Unable to connect, though. Off the hands of Oliver, saved by Green. Great play there, it goes 12 to 12. Five seconds to go. We're down to four, three, two. Go look there! Hard goes up! Good play there, it goes by Green! Had the president of mind to get the ball to open heart there, coach. Yeah, he did, coach. And like I said before, I like Green's also passing ability. We talk about Robinson's passing ability. Green also is a guy at the point guard position who can definitely dish that rock and pass the ball. And more importantly, coach, Darian Moore, who you refer to as Payday, has picked up his second foul. So right now, Coach Tobacco got a decision to make going into the second period with only .4 seconds here on the clock. Hart, Hart unable to knock that first one down. And I also like Oliver is limiting these guys to one shot. He's rebounding out there manly right now, Coach. So uh -huh. if he's aggressive on the offensive end and he's rebound, rebounding defensively, protecting the boards on the defensive end, votes well for them. That's the second one in. Long three, no good. That would end the first period here, Coach, as, you know, the Lansenburg Knights, Coach, are showing no fear. Uh, they just attacking, going hard, coach, and they, they're staying in this game. They're by one, actually, coach, 13 to 12. And in the first matchup they had, they had a close game, coach. It was probably one of the Catholic the closest game of the season, but besides McKill. So we're expected to have a good one. But I'm a little surprised, coach, without having Aiden Green, who's the, who's the second leading scorer with 14.3, and he's, every, he's, 80, he's an 87% free throw shooter. He knocked down 19 three pointers. They don't have all that coming to this game. So I'm really surprised, and, and it's both well for them to be coming out like this. I'm, I'm, I'm not totally surprised, only because when we saw them earlier in the season, we knew that they had multiple players. They had multiple guys who could definitely put the ball on the floor and also get to the hole. He was a, one of the main ones, Aiden Green, obviously. So right now, Coach, I'm not totally surprised, but of course, losing 14 points a game, not having that kind of ability on the court against a good Catholic Central team can make you scratch your head a little bit and say, okay, guys, you played well, well, and you guys are currently in the game playing tough right now. Now, it's interesting. It's the latter part of the season, yes. and you're undefeated. That kind of can make you play tight as the scoreboard stays tight. So let's see how Catholic Central plays as this game goes along because, like, Flansenberg is typically simply playing with house money, right? Catholic Central expected to win. They expected to come in. I'm down eight in green. You're expected to win here. Yeah. Coach, and you got something right on this. You're going to be one of the teams that can finish undefeated this season. You know, you got Dwaynesburg, Coach, still rocking that undefeated uh, season. They got one more game left, one more game left to uh, complete their undefeated season. So you want to be one of the two teams left with an undefeated mark, yeah, with an unblemished mark. 100%. If you, think, if you think they're not thinking about that, you, you, you're crazy. <laughs> got the function here by Allison. He goes up and scores. For his fourth point of the game, first point of the second period, 15 of 12 here, a three-point advantage here for the Knights. Good skip pass there. 
spot the three ball, goes in. Number 22, Danny Bologna. Bologna. I don't know how you spell it. I don't know how you spell last name, coach. <laughs> wow, I didn't even see him. I didn't even see him in the program, coach. Number 22. But Catholic High, he's not right. even in the program. Oh, wow. We call him Danny. Yeah, Danny. <laughs> that ball gets deflected out by number 10. They got some names on that Cavs and team, coach. And DeBacco wants a 30-second timeout to talk about it. All right. I'm sorry, not DeBacco. Loudest. Loudest. Back to live action. The Knights will take it out. We got a 15-15 uh, tie ball game here with 7-12 to go. That last shot was made by number 22, Danny. B. <laughs> uh, Danny B. Danny B. <laughs> Ball's triggered in to Green. Yeah, you can tell Green was up for this matchup. Yeah, man. You see two point guards going at it right now. You got a junior versus a freshman. And if they played early and close in the year, you know they believe that they can win. So. Yeah, we got Shamir Robinson here with a steal. Uh, oh, Allison read that play. Got a steal there on Robinson. Green goes up the left hand. Pretty light. Knocks it in. Green, first two points in the second period. He got six so far. We're approaching 6.35 here, second period. Danny B spots it too strong on that one. Green tracks it down for the ninth. He sees the opening, and he attacks it right away, and he squeezes it in there. Wow, Green is going to work. He's going in. Nah. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's getting B-I-Z-Z-Y. Mm. They still got more on the bench, coach, with two fouls. And Guy's thinking about bringing him in now. He's at the score table. No turnover. I thought he got bumped there. Oh! Give me that. Get that out of here. Give me that. McIntyre says, get your weight up. And Darian Moore is set to check back into the game, along with number three, Connor Jamil. And both of those guys, Coach Jamil and Moore, got two fouls here. So let's pay close attention to that. They were in a man-to-man um, -man when Moore went out. Let's see if they go back to a boxing one. It looks like they are. And they got the football player, Hart, Coach. Hart's a pretty good football player. He was uh, in the he, he made one of the state teams <laughs> this year. I forgot what position it was, but he was definitely in there. Riley for three, knocks it in. That's the long-range shooter there, Coach. You got to keep an eye on that guy. He made 40 so far in the season coming into this game. That's his 41st one right there. Riley said, Chase, pay down the w around all you want. I'm still right here. <laughs> he's a senior too, Coach. He's been playing since he's a freshman as well. So he stepped up. So he's definitely looking to cash in on maybe get, we're getting that um, section title this year. He averaged 11.3 points a game, Riley does. Oh, nice pivot move there by Oliver. Count it. Like I said, I see something different in Oliver, man, and he's playing within himself, and we liked him early, but now he's looking even better. Yeah. Nice kick out there by Riley. Riley gets it back, spots it really quickly. Comes up short there, Oliver with the rebound. 21-18, nice up. I'm sorry, Coach Oliver is well on his way to a double-double. Allison wasn't able to get it. Trickles up the foot of Riley there. Stay here with the Crusaders. 4.55 on the clock. And that's a the sixth turnover of the half. And Lansenberg has seven, so they're pacing each other in their turnover margin right now. Both teams are playing man-to-man, -man too, Coach. Makes for an exciting matchup. Well, I don't know about Lansenberg, because since Darian Moore came back in, I think they went back to the uh, boxing one. Oh, okay, with the con. Oh, Hart with the rebound! Able to finish. Grimmill gets it. And we got a foul there on Green. That's his second. Green got to see, that's what he doesn't need to do. The silly foul, doesn't, he, he doesn't need to pick up. I totally agree with you there. And um, we got a substitution coming in. And, and we're going to give Green a break with number 13, Makai Payne will check in. Now you going to lose. Nice, we got a technical foul Ooh. here. It must be on, I'm thinking it might be on Green. That's his third. Wait, we got to make sure. Yeah, I said, I saw it. Oh, yeah, it did call it on Green. Wait, did he? Yes, 100% he called it on green. 
And you see coach over there in his face right now saying, you got to use your head. You got to be wiser than that. You're coming on the court and you're saying something to him. And now you got two, and then you go to the bench, and he picks up his third in a critical yeah. game like this. And you've been playing very well. I mean, no, the energy is going to leave. I was going to leave anyway. Now you make it even more worse with that. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I mean, you got eight points here in the first half. You've been one bright spots for the team, man. That's a sore spot. You got to keep your cool in that situation right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I like you've been here before. Samir Robinson knocks down that first technical. Free throw. He got a 75% free throw shooter on the line. He's number 26, section two, knocking these free throws down. Knocked that one down as well. His first two points in the second quarter. He has seven in the game so far for Roberson. The ball gets triggered in to Darian Payday Moore. I don't know. I told you the Knights coach, they like, no, it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> they swing it around. Ball gets deflected. 15 seconds on the shot clock. A lot of time. Grim, Grim Mill. Wow, he, he wanted that basket. Unable to go down. Oliver. Oliver, coach, got a ton of rebounds, coach. A ton of rebounds. He's <laughs> always, he might have a 10 rebounds here in the first half already. And oh, good. De oh, got him on the wrist, I, see, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was good defense there, but yeah. the rep thought different, in, and that foul is on Smith, his first, and that's team seven. But it was a two-shot foul, so Oliver go to the line with opportunity to cash in here. They're rocking a one-point advantage with 4-7 to go, 21-20. Oliver, the 66% free throw shooter, goes up no good in the first one. You got to make him pay for it, Coach. You got to make him pay for those, those fouls. You yeah, know? you definitely do. And he's two for five from the line so far, three for six. He's 50-50 factor all day today so 50 -50 far. 50-50 factor. 22-20, approaching four minutes. Oh, he kicks it out to him. Robeson, Robeson kicks it out to Riley. The lefty comes up to the right. Grimmel kicks it out to Robeson for the three ball. Comes up too hard there. Ball gets tipped around. Mill floats away. Goes in. Knocks it down. <laughs> a tough shot right, Jamiro, right there. They had a several opportunities on the offensive end. He got one, made a tough shot over Miller. That's actually good defense by Oliver. I'm sorry, not Miller. Good defense by Oliver right there to have a strong hands up, and he just cashed in. That's Connor Jim Mills, fourth point of the game. Kicks it to Payne. Payne for the sideline jumper. No good. Smith rebounds. Give it to... Payday more. The Lansing Bird Knights coach are doing a good job of getting back quick on defense. Going other way. And again, that and now I know it's worth mentioning again, but that technical foul, now that that kind of like hamstrung's Coach Lotus a little bit and his ability and what his flexibility can do right here. This is a time you would like to come back with Green right now, yeah. but he's going to have to be compelled to let him sit the rest of the third mi three minutes, don't you think, Coach? I think so. I think so. If it doesn't go to like six or seven, Coach, I think you got. I mean, you might even have to keep him there then. <laughs> three ball, no good there by Hart. Samir looking to attack. He goes right to the rack, gets the bump there. We go to the line shooting two. And that foul right there is on Payne. See, that's the thing about it. You got both guards on both teams putting pressure on the interior of the defense. Now Green, who's sitting on the bench, can't do that, can't provide that same punch, that same medicine that Robeson is doing right now. Exactly. And, and you got the passing ability to get others involved as well that you take away too. First shot by Robinson. Good. 75% free throw shooter. And the Knights right now are five for six from the free throw strike right now thus far. So shoot at a 90% clip. Second shot is on his way. Knocks it down. And what happened there, coach? <laughs> I didn't even, I sat down to write something. <laughs> All of a sudden, I looked up, and we're staying here. You're staying here. The, the, right now, the Crusaders took the lead over the Knights here, coach, by two. 
They had a what a four point lead coach when Green went out. <clears throat> maybe even maybe even as much as five, right? I think it was 18 21 or something like that. Yeah, that's Green three. That's three points. That's not five, but that's three. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm guessing <laughs> what the score was. <laughs> and we got a foul here on Jamil, and that's his third. So Jamil picks up his third foul, Connor Jamil. And Danny B will check in for him. So now with the foul trouble situation, you got Jamil with three and obviously the Knights with Green with three. A little full court pressure here, coach. Gets it to Allison. He gets it across the timeline. Looks to attack. Moore gets in there. No foul called. Yeah, Moore has to be careful. He already has two. Oliver pump fakes, drives it to the Baja. And that foul looks like it appears to be on Danny B. Danny B. And it is. That's his first. And that is sent Oliver to the line. Again, Oliver is being very aggressive in attacking the basket. Let's see how well Danny B plays on defense. I think that might be one of the reasons why, you know, he, he probably doesn't get as much playing time as he likes. First shot by Oliver. Well, what I, what I notice about Danny is that sometimes he shoots ill advised shots sometimes. When he hits one or two, look out, because he's not afraid to let it go. <laughs> and Miller catches it on both. Yeah, the 66.7% free throw shooter delivers on that trip at the charity strike. Moore's running the offense. And a 3-2 three -two, three -two defense that loudest always brings with him, coach. <laughs> Yeah, they're playing, they're, they're, coach, they're playing the boxing one, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, hardest chasing payday oh, yeah, you're everywhere right. you go. You're right, you're right. You got the right guy on him. Long three there by Moore. In and out. Stepped out of bounds where he tracked it down. 24, 24, 208 on the clock. And the coach, one thing the Knights are doing very well today, I've seen so far. They get, they've been getting, doing a pretty good job of getting back on defense, too. Yeah, they have. Oh. And, and that's important because Robeson is a downhill guard, so you got to protect transition-wise, and, and even, you can pass. Yeah, even pay that, Coach. A heel will dunk on you in the break. 100%. Three ball, McIntyre. He can't find it today here, Coach. Not yet. Got another steal. Got it right back. Oh, and a cross on by Oliver, Coach. Oh, baby! Oliver! Put down the shoot here, Coach! I'm telling you, and the way he plays, he has that ability as well to drop dimes, too. Yeah. He goes up. Right here in the floor, Payne will get that call. He will send Riley to the line. Little razzle-dazzle right there by... The big fella. Yeah, <laughs> J.O. James Oliver getting it in. And we talked about it a little earlier. He's doing everything. He's rebounding, scoring, passing the ball, playing defense, coach playing smart defense. He don't even have a foul right now. No, no. And you would, you would think he had three ways going on. Yeah, that's rebound. a fact. And he was prone to get silly fouls like that uh, early. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes. he was. He was. He's a lot more focused, a lot more wiser, Coach. Yes, he tonight. is, Coach. Much maturation in the course of the season. You see it right there with that young man. Yes, Riley knocked down the first one of that one and one. His fourth point in the game. 11.3% three, free throw shooter on the line. Good for his fifth point of the game. We got a T.O. We got a timeout here, coach. And right now, you see two teams battling out. That's tied 26-26 with 139 the clock. Coach, your thoughts? No, I mean, a very intensified game right now. And I'm like what I'm seeing out here. You got the Knights coming out in the boxing one. So they slow payday so thus far. Coach, he got three points thus far in this game. So I guess their game plan in terms of payday and slowing him down is, con is working. But you got more going to work. He's doing his thing. He got nine first half points. You also got Nick Riley hitting the three, trying to get going here. The other side, James Oliver doing his thing. You had Green go to the bench. We was a little concerned about Green going to the bench. And what will happen with the Knights? Oliver stepped up and he's doing his thing. Isaiah Allison is offering a pack and a punch to him for them as well, Coach. It's a nice game here we got going on. 26-26 here with 139 remaining here in the second period. I'm loving it. It's McDonald's. I'm loving it. Don't forget to smash that like button, please, for us. If you're watching now, come on. It ain't going to hurt you. It's not. It's very friendly. Back to live action. The Knights will take it out. 
tie ball game. 26-26, 139 on the clock. Allison has it. Goes up, Oliver. Too easy, Coach. Too easy for Oliver. Yup, and that's his 11th point of the half. And I like that play. They ran a little cross screen with him, got him going. And when you give him that position, it's hard to stop him. Got a steal, go another way. Wow, lucky to get a foul on that. They were out working, go 50-50 ball, everything is going the Knights way right now. Yeah, and right there, Oliver got in, got in the mix, and was able to get them another, extend their possession. I got Oliver with nine points in this quarter alone. I. <laughs> Oliver, oh, baby! Oliver is eating. Yes, he is. Green goes to the bench. He goes, I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Smith to the bar. Too strong. Moore rebounds it. Plus the foul. His first points in the second quarter, coach, for his fifth point in the game. Yep, and that foul is on Hart right there. His second. I know one thing. I know that uh, Darian Moore is happy that Hart has two because he's been playing him like a hound dog. Yes, he has. And I'm interested to see attrition-wise how does Hart keep that level of intensity up? Can he sustain it for the whole game? The good thing about it, though, you're not looking for Hart to score big numbers for you. So he can concentrate most of his time on the defensive end. It drops in. The shooter's touched there by Moore. The pressure is up. Oh, uh, they fell back. Smith is giving out. Oh, Moore. He tried to bang it, coach. Wow. Rally for three. Knocks it down. Mr. Three. Get, Mr. Duncan, get three instead. I'll take that. And just like that, they were up by four. Now they're down by two. That quick a chain of events. Yeah, 10 seconds on the clock here. Hart has it. They're going to hold for one. Hart drives. Nice kick to Oliver for three. It's the posterior, no good. Rebound is the quarter here. 32 to 30. And the Crusaders fought back here, coach, to take a two-point advantage heading to halftime. Your thoughts, coach? Yeah, like I said, coach, a very, very intensified game right here. And I'm like what I'm seeing. These guys, Oliver guy. Oliver's been the guy right now for the Knights. When Green went to the bench, he was doing it earlier. Knight is doing it later. So he got these guys playing very well. Got these guys in, um, in the game competing, and on the other end, Pede hasn't really got an opportunity to really get going like he want to, but it's been Roberson and he's been doing his thing. And so right now we got a really close game, 32 to 30 with the Capital Central coming in here with a two point advantage going into the halftime. Back to live action here, Let's start the second half. At one point advantage here for the Crusaders over the Knights of Lansenburg. And the Knights will start with possession. The jump ball will go to the Crusaders if there's ever a tie-up. Coach, the last time these two teams met, the ball is, as the ball is being triggered in to McIntyre, last time these two teams met, Coach, it was 77-69 victory for Lansenburg, Coach. And uh, Moore had 37. Oh, nice tip in there, Coach. Oliver gets the credit for that one. So Oliver comes right out the second half, asserts himself with a nice put back right there, offensive rebound to go with it, so we know he has a double-double. Jim Mill, Jim Mill no good. Ball gets tipped around. Oh, he got it through there. Payne. Payne could have uh, caught that in the air and kept it moving. <laughs> yeah, he sure could have. He starts with Green on the bench, coach, interestingly, to start the second half. So he's going to preserve him, protect him with those three fouls. Not yeah. such a bad idea, but an errant pass right there. Thirty-two, thirty-two. And when you have games like this and it starts to get a little bit tight, and you have an undefeated season on the line right here, let's see how they respond because you can get a little tight in these circumstances and situations. Question about it. He drives, kicks to the end line to Robeson. Too strong on there. Smith rebounds, kicks to Jim Well. Jim Mill, no good. Stays here with the Crusaders. 
Crusaders can't find it, Coach. The Crusaders, Coach, knocked down 87 three-pointers as a team this year, Coach. Number 29 in Section 2. They're not finding it right now. No, they're not finding it right now. I'm sorry. They're 152. They're, they're knocked down 152. Oh, Jamel knocked it in. Jamil said, I'll find that two right there. Much needed basket right there after struggling from the outside. Gets a two points to go yeah. down for him. Let me clear that up, Coach. They, Crusaders knocked down 152 three point. Number one in section two, Coach. They yeah, get it right. It get it ball. right, Coach. Get it right. Don't <laughs> rob them. Don't rob the kids. No, no. <laughs> and it makes sense that they're number one, man, with their snipers that they have there. We got a 30 second timeout here on the court. Loudis ran out there, Coach. Said, Give me that timeout. I want it right now. Yes, he does. And it makes sense. When you have a guy like Riley who could fill it up, you got a guy like Moore, Moore who could fill it up, you got a Roberson who could fill it up from the outside, it makes sense why they're number one in three-point shooting. 6.35 on the clock. Back to live action. 32-34. Crusaders up. Green in the game here, Coach. Yep, Green's coming in the game with about six. I thought he might be on the five-minute mark, six minutes. Oh, Allison, nice take there. Yeah, Allison's been getting crafty and nifty getting into the interior and getting those teardrops to go down for him. No question about it. Still, Allison gives it up to McIntyre. Scores it. 36-34. DeBacco coach is not using timeouts. <laughs> no, he's not. He, he, said, must, he must think it's going to be a close game. I'll save him for the end. That's what I said. He said, I'm saving these down the end. The floater comes up short. He goes up again, scores it after getting tipped away by Allison. Show some strength there that time, Coach. He did. Good way to stay with it. Was able to get retain the possession of it and get a put back for two. 36-36. Approaching 5-35 here. Third period. Oliver's been the bright spot here for the night. McIntyre, he wanted that bu he wanted that bucket, unable to go down. Yeah, he did. Roberson sidesteps with a three ball, in and out. Grimmel gives it to Riley. Now the Crusaders has been able to have second and third opportunities here. Yeah, Roberson finally gets one to go down from deep. First three ball, first three ball of the game here for and him. He, and he's a very confident young man. Once he gets his start going and filling it up, coach, he will start to put it up, and he could knock him down. No doubt about it. Like you it. said, they're number one in the <laughs> three-point shooting, so. Yeah, he made 32 come into this, into this game. He's number 32 at all of section two of knocking that tray ball down. Oliver no, gets uh, nifty. Oh, got a push off there, Oliver. I like the thought, though. Good yeah. way to try to get away with that. Really? It wasn't a hard body push either. Like you, you're my weight, but not like not like a aggressive or I don't want you to be here push. You know, it was like a incidental type of push. Excuse me. <laughs> I need to get that rebound right there. That miss I just put up. I need to get that. <laughs> uh, Robinson gives it to Riley. For, oh, he thought about a deep one. Get to Grimmel. Back to Riley. He relocates for the corner shot. No good. Robinson gets big. Goes up. Scores. Roberson, the guard can rebound and put it back in there too. Gives him the biggest lead of the game, coach. 41-36. Yeah, no, he's permeating on the night. He's not protecting the boards right now. They keep getting second and third opportunities, and you can't give those guys that. Wow. And that foul is on Connor, so that's his fourth, coach. Yeah, that 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 didn't need to be that that was no touch. That was a touch call there. I mean, let the kids play. And then, and then on top of that, having to know that you called several fouls on this guy, he's probably getting that range. That's one you definitely want to let go by if you're official. Yeah, Robeson with the steal in the corner. Dri he dribbles out of that, coach. He going right at McIntyre. Too strong. He will go to the line. Maybe if McIntyre falls down, but maybe how about, how about a no call? I agree with you. Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing. He don't have to fall down. I think he stood straight up, held his ground. He, Robeson came with all of the energy yes. and the contact. Yes. So you got to give a little when a guy comes with that kind of contact. Let it be a play on right there. I mean, I hope his referee is getting commission for the calls for the second half, coach. I hope it ain't the case. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Per call? Yeah, per call. <laughs> I never remember being on per call contract, coach. I never remember that. There's Robinson, coach, still doing good from the free throw line. The 75% free throw shooter knocking it down from the charity stripe. Yes, he's seven for eight right now thus far in the game. So he's definitely 
owning up to his 75% from the free throw line. Extend the lead, too, there. 43 to 36 as Roberson completes that trip at the foul line. And as a team, they're 11 for 13, so they're shooting it re relatively well from the free throw line as well. This is where you got to get the ball to Oliver. Yeah, he got it. He lost it. He wanted some contact. Green comes away with it. Oh, Roberson battles in there. And Green comes back and takes it away. Oh, give me the ball. Coach. Coach, this referee here, Coach, he's not letting the kids play. Yeah, I mean, the last three consecutive calls that he's made all been calls that you go, yeah. You want this game to be boring or something? Come on, man. We want to see a free throw to the contest. All the fouls are the fouls. He sends Green to the line. Like I always say, man, officiating and be able to officiate contact and not be so quick to blow your whistle on contact because you see contact. I mean, basketball is a contact sport. Right. It's both well when you can – Sift through all of that, and there's no fouls, nothing to see here, and you let them play on. Yeah, that's the truth. I mean, if this is a high-level game right here, man. A lot of, a lot of, lot of, lot of athletes, a lot of potential out here, coach. And if you calling and you sucking all that energy out the gym, we can't see what these players can do. Mm. We got a timeout here, coach. Full timeout by Loudis. <laughs> Loudis wants to talk about it. Back to live action, 3.49 o'clock, 43.38. Crusaders over the Knights. Crusaders with the ball. Find Smith inside, he goes up strong, finishing. Nice move inside by Smith. He just cracked the scoreboard there. No, he got two, he, got, he had two in the first quarter. And they extend the lead to seven here. So largest lead of the game right now. Hart gets it. With the contact. With the contact and scores it. Nice strong move by Hart. He wanted it, got it, and made it work. They left Roberson open, unable to connect. Smith knocks it off his other team's leg. I'm, I'm telling you, Coach, the telltale sign right here has been Catholic Central, the Crusaders' ability to keep getting second and third opportunities is the reason why they have a five-point lead here in the third period. Ball gets kicked out. Back to Darian Payday Moore. I thought he could have caught that. He's like he brought his hands back. I thought so too. Wow. But nonetheless, that's their 11 turnover of the contest. So the Crusaders have 11 turnovers and the Knights have 13 thus far. So kind of high volume turnover game here. The, and it's a fair. Loudest coach working that sideline over there with that towel in his hand. <laughs> yes, he does. It's like a washcloth, coach. I don't know why you call it a towel. It's like a washcloth to me. I'm gonna, uh, Darian Morgan's call for his third personal foul. That's his third, and that's the team's third. 2.37 o'clock, 45 to 40. The ball is tricked in by Allison to Oliver. Oliver calls for the screen. That was a good hedge there by Bobby B. It sure was, because <laughs> Oliver wanted to go. Yeah, he did. Good move by Green oh, right there. Oh, baby, blew the bunny right there at the rim. Oh, three ball, comes up short. Smith battles with Riley. Another opportunity by here by the Crusaders. Oh, Riley wide open for the three ball. Comes up a little off there. Ball stay here. Another opportunity right there by the Crusaders again. Number 10 comes in the game, coach, gives Bobby B a break. Yeah, I, I don't know what's happening here, Coach, but right now the, you got to you got to crash the boards here. You got to limit these guys to shots. You can't allow the offense like this to continue to get shots. Oh, good block there. I think that was hard that blocked that. I could be wrong. Oliver razzles and dazzles, goes off the glass, unable to knock it in. Stay here with the Knight. Nice move right there. I didn't think he was going to be able to get a good – Look like that. He still was able to get it go down. He uses the glass on the interior real well. Ball 
Ball get triggered in by Allison. Around the world he goes, knocks it, not no good. Moore gets it. Oh, good catch there by Riley. Green. Oh, good. The ref saw that. Great call by the ref there. <laughs> he actually grabbed him. That was a great call. Great call there. What do you think about that, Coach? And right now, Loudis has to look towards his bench and figure out what he wants to do right now with Green getting his fourth personal foul right now because he got a technical foul earlier on in the game. I thought that foul was on Oliver. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was on Oliver. Yeah. Moore has it. Gives it to Smith inside. Kicks it back out to Robeson for three. Knocks it down! Three birds with one stone! Yes, and Robeson is having himself a night thus far here with his 21st point of the game. So he took a lot of shots to get there, though, Coach. <laughs> yes, he has. Yes, but he's getting more efficient here on the latter part of the That's game true. right now. That is true. Oh, they missed Oliver right there. A chance to get it to him. We're approaching one minute on the clock. Oh, Razzle Dazzle off the he said off the foot of somebody in the Crusaders, Coach. Uh, I, right now, Coach, I'm going to Oliver a lot more. He has a way of getting in. He got a nice spin move. Yeah. And once he gets to the basket, he's kind of tough to stop. So I want to make sure he gets as many as touches as possible. Hart gets big. Hart gets big. Hart is playing with heart. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> They're bringing that football mentality back out right well, now, Coach. Uh, well, on the defense end, he got to chase payday all around on the court. And the last couple plays, he had a couple buckets there that were strong buckets. Yeah. He's swinging around. Whoa, nothing but oxygen. Green. And out. Pepe Moore jumps over him. You too little. He went way up to get that. Right to the bar. Gets the foul. Oh, and that, that is on Green. And that will be Green's fourth right there. And he has to come in with pain right now. And that's, well, you only have 26 seconds here remaining in the third period with Green picking up his fourth. So you got to wonder how long you want to sit him going into the fourth quarter, I would presume. Yeah. The 71.9% free throw shooter. First shot, good. His first points of the third period. And Moore's averaging 24.3 points a game. He's number five in section two and scoring that ball, coach. And you got your backcourt averaging about 75% from the free throw clip, man. That's beautiful. Yeah. And these guys are shooting really well here tonight. I'll tell you that right now. Second shot, good. And they're 13 for 15 from the free throw strike tonight, coach. It's and 50 to 42. We got a timeout here by Guy DeBacco. 30-second timeout, that is. Back to live action. 26.6 uh, seconds on the clock here. Knights with the ball. They got to go 94 feet for a bucket. McIntyre gets it against Riley. They trap up top. Gives it to Green. Riley jumps it. Gives the McIntyre, he finds Hart down low, gives it to Payne, Payne scores it. Good execution right there, good ball movement. Sharon, Riley. Goes up too strong. That will end the first, I'm sorry, the third period here, Coach, 50 to 44. And we're headed to the final stanza, Coach, here. It looked to be a dandy. What are your thoughts? Yeah, the Knights cannot be happier right now. They got to be liking where they're at. They're in striking distance right now, 50 to 46, six points here. They, they're here against one of the number one teams in the area right now, looking to vote for an undefeated season right now. And they was earlier on, contesting them, lost by eight earlier in the season. So they got to like where they're at right now. What they got to do, though, is they got to protect the offensive boards going into this fourth period right here. You got to stop letting these guys get second and third opportunities. You can't have guys with a team like with Riley, with a team with Moore, and a team like Roberson. With all those guys, you can't give them multiple opportunities kind of here to bury you here. So that will be crucial right now. And can Green stay out of getting his fifth foul will be crucial going into the fourth period as well. And can they continue to get Oliver going? And can somebody else, I know Allison's been 
Have a good game, and McIntyre, can one of those guys step up as well here going into the fourth period? Well said there, Coach. Back to live action. Crusaders start the final stanza with the ball and rocking a 50-46 to 46 advantage here. Possession arrow goes to the Knights. If there's ever a jump ball, Riley, deep corner, side pocket, too strong there. Allison rebounds, they're off and running. That was a nice play call coming out of the quarter, I'll tell you that. And Riley didn't get a chance to go, get it to go down. Pressure defense. Oh, good defense there by number 10 for the Crusaders. Moore, wow, too easy, coach. Too easy. Nice move right there by Moore. The freshman phenom, Moore. You got still here, Coach. Riley gets blocked. McIntyre uh, was out of bounds when he got it, when he touched the ball. So they go back to the Crusaders. Payne will have a seat. And that's the second time Riley got blocked there, Coach, on the break there. He got to work on his ups, Coach. <laughs> you gotta do some more squats or something. <laughs> we got a conversation here, coach, between the refs here. The 7 11 mark here. They're dealing with the shot clock, probably more than likely, right there. They decide to keep it where it is. Deflection. Try to get the ball number 10, coach. I said his, his first two shots didn't come close to making it. And they try to get him the ball. I don't know. It looks like he has the ability to knock it down, though. Let's see. I know he does. <laughs> his posterior rebounds his own shot. Kicks it out to Riley. Riley decides to drive in again. Oh, reverse layup right there. His first points in the second half. To go along with his 10 points all the game. Oh, behind the back, right to the Baja. Unable to connect there by Green. Good pass. Got a charge here. And that's fouls on Moore, and that's his fourth. And that's the team's fourth. So see what Coach DeBacco decides to do here with 640 here remaining in the in the final stanza. Final, I, yeah, you got to take more out. <laughs> He's too aggressive, coach. He's very aggressive offensively, too. Yeah. Hart? And, and you want, oh, Hart! Spots it and knocks it down. It's eight point of contest. Got to give Hart a lot of credit to chase around more all game, coach, and still give them eight points right now. It's yeah. big. Oh, Allison. Goes up, lays it above the rim. They come storming back. Still down, 54 to 49 with 614, coach. What do you think got into the uh, the Knights that time, coach? Nice little run right there. They got a, they got a couple turnovers right there in that transition. They cashed in on them right there, and Allison came up with a big bucket right there. And it looked like he was way over the rim on that, coach. Yeah, he was coach. Up, not way over, but he was up there. He was up there. He was up there. <laughs> <laughs> coach, Guy DeBanco has something to say to the ref. What do you thought that was about? I couldn't be much, I would presume. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coach, the ref wasn't responsible for the turnover there, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Not at all. Coach Loudon's coach is going over there. He's over there devising something right now. You still keep that pressure on Day-Day, right? You still keep that boxing one on him. He might explode any moment. You still, it's 6-14, Coach. You know, you, no reason to change something that's working. I mean, they've been doing relatively well. The, the only thing their Achilles has, Hill has been has been rebounding the basketball. These guys have let these guys get offensive rebounds. If you look at second chance and third point opportunities that they got points off of, Coach, that's the difference in the scoreboard right now. <laughs> So let me check that. You got Connor Jamil with four fouls for the Crusaders. You got Darian Moore with four fouls. That's the extent to their foul trouble. The other side, the Knights, they got Green with four fouls, and that's probably the extent to their foul trouble right now at this juncture. A much needed basket here. Riley spots it. Comes up short, rebound, McIntyre. And they come away with it. Oliver kicks it to Hart again for another one. Knocks it 
Big basket right there by Hart and the assist to Oliver with the presence of mind to kick it out to the Hart Foundation. He knocks it down. <laughs> and, and get this within two points here. No question. And the energy is picking up and the student sections are getting loud here. Drives it in off the glass. Oh, doesn't rattle for the young fella. Good decision right there by Green. Pull it out. Oh, good. Yanker goes up. Air ball. That go Hart right there again. Yep. Oh, good skip pass opposite of McIntyre. Knocks it down! Wow, Coach. That game's storming back here. Coach Oliver has been responsible for those last two threes, Coach. He's making timely passes in crucial situation right now and thus has given them a one-point lead here, Coach. He's affected the game all over the place. 55 to 54. We're at 440 to go here. We gotta see here our capital should respond. They haven't been a chance to get those second, third opportunities. Kicks it there. Wide open Riley. He's off right now. He can't find it. And we talked about this. When the game gets tight, you're undefeated, and it starts to get crucial. How yeah. tight do you get right now in these situations right here? No question about it. And you got a confident bunch right now in the Knights right now. And they have lessened their opportunities on the offensive rebounds. And right now, they find themselves with a one-point advantage after cleaning that up. <laughs> Goes loud as working that sideline, too. Oh, that is still here. Back to Robeson. Knights. You know he's uh -huh. ready to go. And this is where Robeson has to be mindful of. You can't get it all back. You can't do it all by yourself. Still stay within your offensive frame here. Yeah. Moore has it, looks to drive the end line, stops and pops. He get hit on the arm by Hart. That's Hart third foul. His third, and that's the team's fifth. And they send Darian Moore to the line to shoot two. And they've been doing a relatively solid job on him. And I like the double team they had right there with him going to the basket. And Hart just bailed him out right there with a, on the elbow. 3.50 to go. First shot. Oh, baby. Moore misses from the foul line. Coach, we had two quality games back to back. Dwayne's Bird and Gibbons, Mr. Gibbons. And now we got uh, Lance Bird versus Cal Central. Two quality games, Coach. Can you tell us coming down to sectionals right now, Coach? Ah, <laughs> yes, you can. Second one ties the ball game. 55 apiece. He gives to Oliver, Coach, up top. I like it. He gets the young fella. Oliver, the senior, gets a freshman. I like Oliver's chances all day of the week. Yes, especially going off the dribble. Yeah. Oh, Smith. He's going to the Baja. I'm able to go pay that right there. Stays with it. With the bucket. Gives them a two-point advantage. 57-55. Oliver running the point. A little more here late in this game, Coach. You want it. This is what you wanted from him, right? You want another ball up top. Yeah, I like him up top going off the dribble, though, and not just passing the ball because I think he has the ability to put it on the deck and get by his defender. Although Smith is no cupcake at all when it comes to defending. Long three there by McIntyre. Comes up short. Hart nearly had it. Green saves it. Right to Oliver. Oh, well. Oh, almost had it. 50-50 balls were going their way for a half second there. Oh, Moore trying to thread the needle there, Coach. Didn't need to. These guys are about deadlocked on turnovers at 15. Green with the ball, but it's four fouls. Still balling hard. Gives the heart. Back to Oliver. And if that's on Moore, that's his fifth, Coach. Oh, they don't give it to Moore. They give it to Jerk. They give it to Connor, and that's Connor's fifth. Moore had all ball. <laughs> And Loudis is having that conversation saying, I thought that was on number one, Moore. And the ref says, no, it's not on Moore. And that's his fifth. Nonetheless, I mean, that's still a big miss right there for the Crusaders. Big body inside, offering them some offensive rebounding right now. And I like that play that they just called for Oliver. That's the play I was looking for them to play, call to get Oliver involved. And they bring in Bobby B, coach, who right now you're really looking for defense, 
and rebounding, most important thing, and a hustler. I don't know if Bobby B gives you that from the defensive side of the ball. Danny B, I mean. <laughs> I don't know if Danny B gives you that, Coach, right now. Because, you you know, Connor, Coach, the guy just fouled out. He was a taller guy. Yep. He got a couple rebounds. Yes, he did. You know, so what is Bobby going to give you? What is Danny going to give you? <laughs> and Oliver goes to the line. And he misses the first one. He was he's in five for eight. Oh, oh he missed both. both. And more there for the rebound, coach. Big missed opportunity right there. Now, Bobby, I'm sorry, Danny B is known for a three-point shooter, coach. He need one now. Oh, back-to-back -back turnovers, coach, by Moore. Yeah, is, big is crucial the, ones. Is that the freshman coming out of him right now? I don't know, coach. I just think that he didn't put enough on that pass right there. Could be jittery, Coach. I'm telling you, when you got an undefeated season, it's coming down to the stretch. Yeah. Everything gets a little tighter, gets a little jittery. You can't be telling me that's not in the back of your mind. Two minutes to go here. Under 10 seconds of the he shot He says, clock. go by. He says, go He says, go by. Oh, no post up. And we got a foul here by Danny B on the floor. And that's his second. And that's the team six. So the next one will send the Knights to the line for the bonus. And I like that matchup. I would go to heart down again against Danny B. All day long. McIntyre triggers it into Oliver. It's a mare. Got him around the wrist. He would shoot two. He would shoot a one and one here, right, Coach? Yeah, man. Good opportunity to put points on the board. Oliver wasn't able to cash in last time on those two free throws. Right now, you give Robes in the second foul. And you give Wesley McIntyre an opportunity to come here and cash in on a one on one situation. Let's pay attention to these free throws. These are crucial right here. McIntyre is a 70% free throw shooter, Coach. He's 46 in all of Section 2. Oh, so we got a we got an incorrect on the scoreboard it's not the seven so they will trigger the ball and bounce here and it'd be six so the next one the next one i think for sure the next one coach and we get yeah. a timeout on the floor coach Lyles want to drop a play here coach this is very critical right here we just have two minutes at 148 two point advantage for the crusaders over the nights here coach 57 55 what what are you drawing up if you're if you're loudest over there in that lansbury huddle well right now coach you got an option you got an option here you can go with the cross screen that they've been running for Oliver, get him the ball in the interior. But the, reason, the fact that you got Danny B on Hart right now, and we like that matchup, maybe you run that same play you've been running for Oliver, you run it for Hart. And get him in a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Danny B, and maybe he can exploit that. Hart shows the ability to be very strong inside with the basketball and finishes very well as, as well. Now, what is Coach Guy DeBacco for the Crusaders, Coach? What is he telling, particularly uh, Darian Moore, about, you know, take care of the ball. What is he telling No, he's telling these guys right here, stay loose, guys. Stay loose. I know it's a tight basketball game, and it's probably one of the closest games that we've been in thus far this year. So I need you guys to play loose. Don't worry about the scoreboard. Don't worry about the undefeated season. Don't worry about none of those things. Go out and play your game. Don't feel like you got to put it all on your shoulders as one of the guys. Play within the framework. Still find your open guys and play team basketball here. Back to live action. Oliver gets the ball triggered. He goes right away. Oh, wow. good luck. And Hart scores the bucket. The assist that Oliver has put on tonight has been very special. I wonder who man that was that's wide open because we know Hart was guarded by Danny B that last trip. Well, I give Hart credit. He cut to the basket very well when he saw Oliver go baseline. Big shot here by Riley. Oh, baby! Big time shot there by the senior guard! Riley steps up in a crucial situation and knocks down a big three with 1.15 here remaining. Got a charge here by the young fella. Got a charge for by Oliver. That's his third team six. And the, Oliver, the young fella coach took that charge. <laughs> He took that right to the chest. He did. Oliver's a big boy. Oh, oh Oliver coach, that's out. Wow, I only had him for three fouls I here. Had him, I had him for four. <laughs> oh, my calculation is way off. That's a big 
big loss right there yeah. for the Knights and a tough one to probably overcome down here in the stretch. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't particularly like the call, to be honest with you. No. He got it. He got it. He, he's off the bench trying to control himself over there, but that's fine. Well, he's hurting right now. He knows this is a big situation right here. We could have unseated these guys. Yeah. Under, we're approaching 50 seconds on the shot clock. 50 seconds on the game clock. And the offensive rebound, it has to be something that's paid close attention to. Danny B, unable to knock that down, coach. Oh, wide open, McIntyre. And we got a timeout on the floor right here. You shoot a long three, coach, and give up a break after that. I mean, you got to have people getting back on defense. Yeah, I don't think Coach want Danny B taking that shot as well. When you got these other guys on the team right now, you got Riley just knocked down the three. You still got paid out there. You got more, and you pull up and take a three right there. You don't get the three. It turns into a quick two, Coach. Can't be happy with that possession right there. Not at all. Back to live action here. 36.3. Cap the Central Crusaders looking to go 94 feet to get a bucket. They hold, they hold on to a one-point advantage, 60 to 49. They get to one of the better free throw shooters, Green, up close up on them. Robeson, you got in the double, got deflected there. They foul right away, and that's Hart's four. So if you were, if you're intending to foul, you may want to be same thing here. Get the guys in the game. But I know you was kind of go for a turnover there potentially, but you want to make sure you don't get your crucial guys already having Oliver fouled out. You didn't want Hart to pick up a sport right, foul there. Right, right. And Smith, who hasn't been to the line all night, will get a chance to go there and shoot a one-on-one -one situation here. First shot up, good! Knocked that down like a KG senior, coach. Yeah, he knocked that down like he had trips all night long. <laughs> pressure what? I don't see no pressure. And his demeanor and his calm looks like he's not bothered by pressure. Good. Oh, wow. baby! Tough there, coach. That's a big turnover right there. Well all night, hard, coach. Makes a crucial blunder there. 62 to 59. They and bring Bobby B back in. Tobacco wants a timeout. Uh, I'm sorry, Danny B. They bring Danny B back in. I don't know why I'm going to call him Bobby, coach. <laughs> His name might end up being Bobby before we're done. <laughs> you might get a Bobby out of me messing around with you. <laughs> Back to live action. Crusaders, 62. Knights, 59. 24.2 to go. They get it out to Danny B. That was the guy to foul. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. He's been cold on the, you know, or he hasn't really played a lot of minutes tonight. Yeah, he knocked out. Uh, Danny B knocked down 1-3. So he's a shooter, so you know he can, we hope that he can knock down a, a, a free throw. And Robeson, who's been quiet this whole fourth period, has an opportunity to go to the line and extend this lead here. And try to secure this victory, secure the bag. <laughs> mm. First shot, good. His first points, because I got for the fourth quarter. I might be, what do you got? Same thing. Wow. 75% free throw shooter, coach. Drawing his team closer to a victory. They need one defense, one more defensive stance. Up and good. The freshman. So you got to get going here. Yeah, a lot of time being wasted right now. Good kick to Hart. Hart comes up short that time. Moore gets it. Get a foul. Foul on Payne right there. So right now, coach, it looks like Catholic Central will come in here and skate with a victory, a uh, well-fought one as well. Yeah, a lot of people putting their coats on, coach, and starting to uh, matriculate out the door. Mass exodus. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, coach, he's nice, coach. They played them tough the first time, and they played them tough this time. Here, coach, it was a, it, it was a great job there by Loudis over there with those knights over there, coach, trying to get it done. Yeah, and more missed that first free throw. And you're gonna look back at this game, and around the third period, Mark, you came out, and they offensive rebound you the heck out of you, and that was a crucial point in the game, what gave them a little bit of distance, gave them a ten point lead as much, and, and that would hurt. Yeah, Kevin Sertu just missed being a class B this year by one student coach on the beds. Wow, they really are class B size school. They got 114 students graduating this year. Long three, no good. Moore gets it. He looks to dunk it anyway. He throws it down to close out the show. <laughs> mm -hmm. 65 to 59, Coach, here. And the Crusaders, Coach, come here and guts, guts one out here, Coach, behind the, the, uh, the, the attributes and the fortune of uh, Samir Robeson and a few other guys. Yeah, 100%. They came in a well-fought game. You got a nice, you got to take the head off to the Knights, and you got to give a lot of credit to Catholic Central to come on and extend their season to undefeated. Nice game by Robeson. Poured in 23 points tonight. And you had Payday, who they slowed them down a little bit, still ended up with double figures. But nonetheless, guys, you got Riley knocking down threes. They have enough, and they had enough, and they were able to do enough to come out of here with a victory tonight. No question about it, Coach. No question about it. They have man defeated. Them and Dwaynesburg. Keep a lookout for those two teams. They both got one uh, game to go, I believe, Coach. We're going to see how it all pans out. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. You know? But uh, that'll do it here for your Mojo 2 TV. Peace. Peace. Your Mojo 2 TV post-game report here with the winning team. And we got the Crusader, uh, Crusader of uh, Catholic Central. Um, you guys came in here in a, in a tough one here. You battled this team before, and you got the same end result. Um, talk about your mindset coming to this game, and what did you do to prepare for it? Um, we had to prepare on our defense more, and uh, we just had a tenacious mindset coming into the game. We had to push the ball a little bit more in the second half because it was a little slow at first. And we started knocking down shots at the end. We, more, we normally hit those, so, yeah. Now, Payday, now, you used to being boxing one and all that good stuff, and I noticed that you came out doing a lot of other stuff to affect the game. So, talking about, was it frustrating, or was it something you were just cool with and trying to let this game body up? At first, uh, it was kind of frustrating, but like, I just took my teammates to run through it, and I got to do other stuff in school. So, I was just getting a good teammate, helping me down, setting screens, and just being a good, hard worker in the team. Like, now, be honest with me, all right? You know, a crucial game like that, you know that that was probably one of the closest games you played against those guys earlier on. You got an undefeated out of the season on the line. How, how tight, tense are you getting out there knowing that that's all on the line? Uh, we just worry about just playing hard. Our coach told us to go 1-0 each day. So we come out with a mindset going 1-0 and just playing hard with each other. And don't fold on each other. We throw the ball every day and just, we just work with each other. <laughs> just keep fighting through it. 100%. Now, when you see this guy is getting boxed in one like that, and you see that coming out of what is your mindset? What is you thinking in that situation like that? Um, I know I got to try to create more for our team because obviously it's a huge scoring stuff. I got to try to create for myself too. But uh, I got my teammates help me get open and stuff on the boxing one. And uh, I just got to try to get him open too. You know what I'm saying? And we really got to just try to get buckets. Yeah, I think, I think you guys did a good job tonight, man battle and adversity. You probably didn't have much of that this year. And we're heading into the uh, sexuals right now. Do you think this could be something that uh, you needed um, to take you even further? Um, yeah, I think we definitely needed this to humble ourselves too. We're a little big headed, you know, because we are undefeated. <laughs> right, right, we're undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we definitely needed this one. So talk to me about, oh, I'll, let, I'll let them answer it too. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, Pat. Yeah, answer that question. Oh, yeah, we definitely needed that for sure. Before we can just be humble in practice. And now, this will even help us more in practice to stay more focused. So we definitely needed that for sure, especially the adversity with the fans. Yeah. My last question for you, um, uh, Robinson. Now, you battled a fabulous uh, upperclassman, a junior, um, and Marcus Green. And you guys were just going at it. Now, where do you find yourself in the mix of the area of the top guards? Where do you find yourself in that, in the point guards, I mean, in that area? I, I felt like I'm the top guard in the area. And uh, battling him, though, is tough. You know, it's tough, but I feel like I'm the best. <laughs> now, this is my last question. What teams are you guys looking at as you progress here that might be a, a start in a way or with y'all eyeing when you come into sectionals right now? What teams are y'all on y'all radar? Uh, 
Yeah, anybody really. Any teams that's really good in particularly that you know that you might have to battle with? I think he want to answer this. I think he want to answer this. Anybody. So it don't matter if they next up, be, be ready. Be ready to anybody. Mm. Well, we appreciate watching you young phenoms play. It's a pleasure to watch you guys play. You do a really fantastic job. And it's um, exciting for the audience as well. Good job out here tonight, guys. All right? 100%. Good job. Good job. Yeah.